I wanted to quickly cover what the concept of a database index is. Now basically when you create an index on your database, you are storing a column or multiple columns of information in a way that MySQL can more easily search when we do a query against it. So for example, I have a customer's table here. The only column here that is indexed is the primary key just because every primary key is created with an index. That's what defining a primary key is. And let's just see that with a quick query. I can do show index from customers, or I could even do show indexes, they're both the same. And this will show me any index on the customer's table. And we have one on the customer's table. The key name is just primary as my SQL sets automatically. The column of course is ID, the collation is A, so it's just sorted uh, descending, I believe. Cardinality is 888, which just means that it's indexed every row in this table. There's 1,888 rows in it and the index type is a B tree, which is a pretty standard type for MySQL. There's B tree, R tree, uh, full text, and I believe a hash type index. Uh, B tree will be the one you see the most. Those are the important columns here for any index. You can just see that anyone with a primary key has a primary key index, and that is why selecting data from a table by its primary key is very quick. So I can do select star from customers where ID equals one, and I'm gonna put explain before it, and that'll make my SQL explain the query in a way that tells us about what keys it has. So it's a simple query that's on the table customers. Possible keys are primary. So this is gonna list any of the possible keys that my SQL thinks it can use, any possible indexes. I'm gonna use keys and indexes interchangeably. There's only one that it can use, and that's the one it decides on. So possible keys is a list of keys it might use. The key one is the key or keys that my SQL does use. Key length is four because this is a index on a integer and it's only gonna uh, index four characters to that integer. Rows is one because I did not need to scan all 1,888 rows because there's an index on it. It was able to find the specific row. All right, so let's see if I want to search on the hash column. So I can just say from customers where hash equals some hash and I'll explain that select query. Oops, and I spelled hash wrong, okay. So I'll explain this query, and it's gonna be a simple query again. It's the table customers, and that's it. There's no index on here. So there's no possible keys, no possible index, no index that was used. I had to scan all 1,888 rows because it has to scan each one and match up the hash. And we see extra here, it's using where. So there's a where statement, but this will also tell us if it uses a temporary table or any other kind of search uh, algorithm. So let's say we have a table that's very large. It's not just 1,888 rows. If it's more like hundreds of thousands or millions, this will become a slow query. So we can add an index to speed that up. So what we wanna do in this case is just add an index to the hash column. Now you can actually index multiple things. So let's say we had also and created at was greater than one, two, three, four, something like that. If I had this query and I wanted to make this query quite often, something where it's searching as hash and created at, then I can make a index with two columns instead of just one. But I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna stay with one column here and make an index on the hash column. So to do that, I'm just gonna copy this query in here. We're gonna alter table customers, add the index, and we name the index, and then we say what column or columns to make that index. So if this was gonna be a two column index, I would say by convention, because the name can be anything we want, customers underscore hash underscore created at underscore index. So, but just by convention, and this is Laravel's convention as well, I'm gonna do the table name, the columns hash, and then we just append the word index to the end of it. So if I wanted a multiple column index, then I can make it that way. But we're just gonna do a simple single column index like this. So I'm gonna make this index. That's gonna run. It's actually gonna be pretty quick because it is a small table. It's only 1,888 rows. And let's see, I just need to refresh this. We'll see a new index here, customers hash index on the hash column. So now I can explain this query again. I can see the possible keys become that one key that it has that it matches because it uh, is querying against the hash column. And it says the possible keys is customers hash index. Of course, that's the one it used because there's only one possible index for it to use. And the rows went down to one instead of 1,888. And that's important because we can see that my SQL is able to scan the index very quickly and it knows there's only one possible row that might match. And actually there's no rows because there's no hash that just equals some hash. But in either case, it only needs to scan uh, one row essentially instead of every single row individually. So that's great. Now, how do we decide what indexes to make? And it's basically always defined based on the where portion of a query. Not always, but usually 
the where portion is the most important. So when you have multiple things in your where portion of your query, that's generally what you want to try to index on. So if you know you'll always only search by hash, you can just get away with doing the one column hash. But if you always do indexes where it's hash and created at equals something, then you might want to also do a multiple one index where you are indexing hash and created at the two columns, not just the single column. And that's really the basics of it. In the next video, I'm going to dive in deeper and we'll see how to make a few queries that we make in a sample application I have that uses this database. We're going to see how to make them much more efficient by adding indexes, retesting it to see how it affects it, and then even modifying those indexes a bit to make them better.